Follow and connect with influencers. I have one example and story I want to share because I'm so proud of it and it's the most recent one. But recently, um, when I say recently, probably four months ago, I was like, well, why aren't I following Tom Ferry? Like Tom Ferry's doing ultimately what I would like to do one day. And so I was like, let me go find Tom, Tom Ferry. Let me show you here. So I go get, follow, follow his account and I was like, okay, cool. And as he was posting content, I was like, oh, let me uh, comment. Cause like, if I really had something to say based on what he posted, I chimed in on what I thought. And so I did that, did that, did that. And then the other thing that I did was I went in and I read everyone that was commenting on his post and he wasn't having a lot of comments, which was perfect for me cause I can stand out better. So there aren't a ton of comments in there, but I went and saw who else was commenting. So what I came across was Jonathan Hawkins. Remember him, right? He says, increase my average sales price and average commission this year. And I jumped in and I said that I um, follow him and I've been using his account as an example. I'm just giving him kudos, elevating others and engaging and interacting with them, right? My two likes that you can't see are Tom Ferry and, uh, and that guy, right? <laughs> so, so then Tom Ferry posts this and I don't know if you can see, but uh, he says, AKA stop doing dumb shit. And I was like, ooh, Tom Ferry's feeling spicy today. Because <laughs> that's not Tom Ferry's style. If anyone that knows like his style and the content he puts, he ri- Yeah, so, so I, I uh, wrote a comment and I said, um, I said, boom, did Gary V get in your head today? Because Gary V is a little loud and you know, uh, will swear and say things. And so then he responds and says, I'm super focused. I'm pushing my ecosystem to be their best. We should meet sometime. And I was like, Stop it. what? This is cool. And then this next thing happened right here. Uh, he started following me. <laughs> so initially it was cool. Thank you. Thank you. So initially it was cool. And then I got scared. I was like, oh, I have to make sure I'm on point. I can't, I can't do my bathroom selfies. No, I'm kidding. So, so what happened? I did this bathroom selfie. I was speaking and then freaking Tom Ferry jumps in and he's like, why always in the bathroom? <laughs> Take care of business before business. You should stay. I was like, guys, there, it's not the bathroom. It's the sink area. So anyways, um, then he did this post just a week or so ago. And uh, my dad's a realtor in California, and I've been trying to push him. He, he's calling on expireds and uh, all these listings, and it's painful for him. But uh, he's, he's gotten some traction, and so Tom Ferry's been talking a lot about doing that as well. So as I listen to Tom Ferry's podcast, if I hear episodes where he's saying you should do this stuff, I, I send it to him, like, listen to this. Like, it's good. You're doing what everyone else is doing and just keep pushing. And so he made a thing on five more calls. So I jump in and I tag my dad. He goes, my Mo Niners said, um, my dad, and he's been making calls every day, blah, blah, blah. Told him this time uh, everyone slows down. This time of year, I feel everyone slows down. So I was talking to my dad. I'm like, you need to step on it and do double what you're doing. Like, you just need to do more because I believe everyone else is going to slow down this time of year. So I, I tagged my dad, uh, hashtag five more calls just for fun. Check this out. Tom Ferry, Mo Niners, go dad, go. So now we're kind of like interacting with, yeah. with each other, which is kind of cool. And now my game plan is how do I get to like Irvine or LA area and, and like meet with them and just kind of hang out for a little bit and continue to learn from them. What's that? That's right. That's first step. Yep. <laughs>